In this tutorial, we will show you how to create a customer group. First, go to the Customers page on the sidebar. Then, click the Customer Groups tab. Click the New Group button. Select one of two methods listed to create a customer group. Use the checkbox to the right of the customer list or use the Filter button. You can also click the checkbox at the top of the list to select all the customers listed on a given page. You will then receive a notification of the number of customers you have selected. Then, click the Create Group button. Fill in the group name and descriptions field. Click the Save button. To use the Filter button, click the New Group button. And then, click the Filter button. Select the filter condition, either OR or AND. Select the label and value. You can also add other customer properties if needed. You can use filters for up to 5 customer properties. Click Apply. Click the Group All Result Filter button. Fill in the Group Name and Descriptions fields. Click on the Save button. You will then be able to view the new groups you have created. In this tutorial, we will show you how to view and edit customer group information. Firstly, go to Customers page on the sidebar. Then, click the Customer Groups tab. Select the customer group from the customer groups list. After that, click the kebab button or three vertical dots. Then, click the group information button. You can also edit the group name or description fields. Click the save button. Your group information has now been successfully edited. In this tutorial, we will show you how to add members to a customer group. First, go to the Customers page on the sidebar, and then click the Customer Groups tab. Select any customer group from the Customer Groups list. After that, click the Kebab button or three vertical dots. Select the Add Customers button. You can choose one of two methods to add members to an existing group. Use the checkbox to the right of the customer list or use the filter button. To use the checkbox, select the customers you want to add to a group. You can also click the checkbox at the top to select all the customers on a given page. You will then receive a notification of the number of customers in the group. Click the Add to Existing Group button. To use the Filter button, click the Kebab button or three vertical dots. Select the Add Customers button. Click the Filter button. Select the filter condition, either OR or AND. Select the label and value. You can add other customer properties if needed. You can use filters for up to 5 customer properties. Click the Apply button. Click the Add All Result Filter button. You have successfully added new members to a customer group. In this tutorial, we will show you how to remove members of a customer group. First, go to Customers page on the sidebar. Then, click the Customer Groups tab. Select any customer group from the Customer Groups list. After that, click the Kebab button or three vertical dots. Click the Remove Customer button. Select the customers you want to remove from the group. You can also click the checkbox at the top to select all the customers on a given page. After selecting the customers, click the Remove Customer button. Customers have now been removed. In this tutorial, we will show you how to delete a customer group. First, go to Customers page on the sidebar. Then, click the Customer Groups tab. 
Select the customer group you want to delete from the customer groups list. After that, click the kebab button or three vertical dots. Click the delete group button. A pop-up will appear asking to confirm if you want to delete the subscriber group. Click the delete group button to confirm. Your selected customer group has now been deleted. In this tutorial, we will show you how to send a broadcast message to a customer group. First, go to Customers page on the sidebar. Then, click the Customer Groups tab. Select the customer group you want to send a broadcast message to. Click the Broadcast Message Group button. After that, you will be redirected to the Outbound Message page. The radio button will automatically indicate Select from Customer Groups. The selected group will also be automatically reflected on the Customer Groups from Customers field. Fill in the Broadcast Name field. Then, click Next. Select the Message Template and Broadcast Language. Click Download Group CSV Template. Select your preferred separator type for the CSV file. You can also add other WhatsApp numbers that are not currently included in the customer group. Once the CSV file is ready, click Upload CSV. You can choose to send the current broadcast message right away or schedule it. If you want to schedule the broadcast, select Yes under Schedule Broadcast and fill in the date and time. Lastly, click Send. A confirmation pop-up will appear. Click Continue to send the broadcast message immediately. You have now sent a broadcast message to a customer group.